Hello, Star Wars Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, in the midst of a collection upgrade and changing up and recording and re-recording and getting everything kind of updated. Again, some people have been asking, why are you doing that? Are you selling it off? Are you going you're gonna you're gonna end collecting? No, no one, no plans to do that anytime soon. Just trying to keep better track of it. Basically, that's it. There is going to be a future somewhere where I may end up having to part with some of the collection or all of the collection, um, but whenever that may be, and I don't see it happening anytime soon, um, I do feel that it's be it'll be better for me if I can just take the time now and get organized and have the, have the, uh, the, um, the whole collection be kind of cataloged so I know what I have, what I don't have, what's a repack, what's not a repack. And again, it's not even needing to be that specific. I just want to get a general understanding, all right? So, you know, after 20, actually after 40 plus years of collecting, uh, you can very easily get kind of lost in the shuffle. So that's what I'm working on. And uh, I will continue to update you guys on how that's working. Okay, so, uh, so you'll see some videos with you know, how things are working with that. It kind of also takes you on a more nitty gritty tour of the collection, kind of like a, a more shelf talks, if you will. But now we're not doing that. Now we're talking about some uh, boxes of items. We have an Amazon Prime. We have a, um, looks like an Entertainment Earth, maybe? I can't tell. And we have one from Best Buy. So why don't we get some of these open? Again, I've been doing tons and tons of ordering online. Of course, a while back, so I don't always remember what I ordered and how I ordered it. But, uh, you know, it's nice when the items come. I get a little nervous about this one because it says something about batteries. I'm like, what? There's no batteries in here. There be. Okay, so on a previous episode, on, on, on a previous episode, maybe not the last previous episode, but we got some of the Lucasfilm 50th anniversary figures. And it seems as though we are now ready for another one. Uh, that is Qui-Gon Jinn, 50th anniversary Qui-Gon Jinn figure, awesome figure, realistic sculpt, you can actually see the intensity of, there he is, there's the intense stare of Qui-Gon Jinn, I have a particular set of skills, oh wait, wrong, wrong, wrong franchise, anyway, so again, comes with a nice foil card, Darth Maul, logo so to speak episode one this this figure has already been released all the figures in this line have but the at least the mace windu and the qui-gon the ones i have in the with me at the moment have been updated with the facial sculpt with the scan photo scanned facial sculpt so fantastic they will continue to find a part in the collection boxed okay i don't unbox everything okay i, I don't feel the need to unbox multiple figures of the same figure even if the figure has a slight alteration okay but um you know eventually sometimes i will like i said i also lean towards unboxing when i'm running out of space but that's also one of the reasons why i'm cataloging so that i can start to go around i mean the one of the things that i have had some thought about was um, starting to eliminate the non hasbro non hasbro non disney non um Galaxy's Edge and Sideshow slash Hot Toys collectibles. Anything that's not in those categories. I mean, and you know, that I have a lot of, you know, you know, Valentine's and Easter, die, you know, die kits and just things of that nature that are just starting to take up a lot of room. And I'm looking to maybe put together some swag bags, that kind of thing that I can either sell off or mystery bags, that type of thing. Um, it's just something I'm looking to do. Uh, I don't know when it's going to happen. It could be years before it happens, but I, I am looking to do that and then just focus my energies mainly on those aspects of collecting because that's enough to keep me busy. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. All right, let's move on. Now, this one has been pre-unboxed only because I was ordering other things. I wanted to make sure that the items that were received were Star Wars related and not like, you know, batteries for my cell phone or... <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know, uh, household items, that type of thing. And here we have another vintage collection figure, which I'm excited about. VC-180, Moff Gideon. Oh boy, excited to have another Mandalorian character added to the list. Really, really cool. Now I will say this. 
I love this character. This is fantastic. Well, I will say this. I love that they are doing this with the vintage line. I do. I wish that they would make a Mandalorian set of figures. I know, like they did with Clone Wars. I know it's not the way of collecting anymore. I understand that. It doesn't stop me from wishing it. Okay? So it's just like they didn't have a Rise of Skywalker dedicated line. They don't really have a Mandalorian dedicated line either. They just they put them on the vintage card, which I like. So I don't dislike this Hasbro. I think that this is great. I'm also extremely excited for the um, vintage style, retro, retro vintage style figures coming out that are from the Mandalorian. So that's really cool too. But having said that, I, um, I do wish that you know, Moff Gideon deserves. What would it look like? What would the, I guess it would be like the Mandalorian. You know, that would be the that would be the facial art, and then they would have maybe a you know the same kind of image. I would love to see both. You know, kind of like they did for Force Awakens and Last Jedi. I think that would be kind of cool. So, anyway, it's okay though. I love having the vintage line. If I'm only going to have vintage, that's fine with me. So don't just. It's a minor feedback. Nothing to be too concerned with. Okay. All right. One more. One more. This is an Amazon. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this. I'm wondering if this is not a Star Wars related one. I'm trying to think if I ordered anything else. I don't usually. Let's take a look here. Oh no! It's it's definitely Star Wars. Interesting. We have a box inside a box. Okay. Um, maybe some of you already know what this is. It's not that I don't know what it is, guys. It's just I'm, I'm a little lazy when it comes to. Trying to keep track of it. All right, looks like we have. Oh, looks like we have another 50th anniversary Lucasfilm figure. Oh, okay. This is on a Star Wars pack. We have a Jawa. And you know what's really cool about this is that a few years ago they actually released a Star Wars carded, you know, six inch or in this case not six inch, but you know, like black series, higher, you know, larger scale Jawa action figure along with. The entire line of uh, the first 12 figures they released on cards like this. I picked up many of them, but I didn't pick up the Jawa. So this was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I mean, I did pick up a Jawa from an earlier release. But what's cool about this Jawa, if you look a little bit closer, he is literally in the style of the original, um, you know the twelve, the original nineteen seventy eight first run of action figures. This is something that they're doing now. They are taking like figures like Obi Wan, Jawa, Greedo, and they're actually releasing them with the color scheme. And even in some cases, this looks like even the even the um, the outward, the interior tunic and the outward cloth is trying to be reminiscent of those original figures. Okay, so I think that's a really, really cool thing. If you look at the look closely at the Jawa's inner hood, cowl or whatever, you'll see that it's got that same orangey color, like brown orange kind of color that the original Jawa toys had. That's talking about the vintage line back in the 70s. So that's a really cool extra thing. And of course the back has the 50th anniversary timeline. Got a nice little imagery there of the Jawas working on the droids. Fantastic. Really cool. Maybe an opener. Okay, maybe consider this an opener. I'm going to see. All right. You know, sometimes I fall into the trap where I want to end up figuring out um, what other figures, you know, like maybe I will do some double purchases so that I can have one thing loose and one thing in the card. But um, pretty cool. So that pretty much over the last few episodes covers the latest wave of purchases that have come in the mail. Um, and again, it's, it's, a, it's, it's the new success of the toy hunt you know it's it's something unfortunately that we um you know we don't have the toy hunt going out anymore and uh, both because it's just it's just the, the buying patterns are different i think the pandemic has affected some of that so it's just the way it is so it's, it's sad but you know you get to still see some really cool um stuff here with uh both the vintage line three and three quarter inch and the black series line six inch so pretty cool stuff all right so again you can look forward to some more unboxings i have a few more things that i, I just got informed are on their way there are i'm still we have some big things coming we have the 
Um, I believe the ha unless the HasLab is delayed, we may be seeing the uh, Razor Crest coming shortly. We have the retro line of figures, as I mentioned, they'll be coming soon. And there's a few more that have been ordered that are still on the back order line. And I'm excited to report that a, in a few months in the summer, um, I'm happy to say that my whole family has been vaccinated. So we are traveling uh, safely, uh, traveling by ourselves and not you know, to avoid large crowds, but we are going to uh, be doing a trip to Walt Disney World. Now that's now it's partially a Walt Disney World trip. It's also possibly partially visiting our daughter. Um, and uh, you know it's been over well over a year, so we are we are desperate to get out there and to see her. And uh, obviously get out into the Disney parks. We did go last summer when they first opened up. We were very careful, although it was far less people than there are that are going now. But um, we're, you know, obviously we're going to be very careful, and we are taking this and uh, the pandemic very seriously. But we are ready to, you know, try to get back into our our vacationing down in Florida and are enjoying the Star Wars land, Galaxy's Edge, and along, along with all of the Disney parks. So we're looking forward to that. So I'll do it for this episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button. If you want to support the channel, there's a Tee Public uh, link down below. You can buy some great Darth Tuba art along with some uh, you know other Star Wars inspired uh, card art for toys. And I hope you guys would enjoy that. And until next time, May the Force and the toys be with you.